What is going on guys, DBG here and this is the last of the 12 gems of Christmas. Unfortunately I was away so I couldn't get one out a day but at least I'm getting all 12 out which is something. Last year I only got two but this year at least I'm getting all 12 out. If this video could hit, I don't know, even 50 likes that would be great. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. So 11 days ago I tried to start off this series 12 ge gems of Christmas where I talked about one gem a day. Obviously I missed a few days but so far to this stage I have talked about 11 gems. If anyone wants to recap, this is the gems. Day 1 was Terence Ross. Day 2 was Mike Conley, Day 3 was his dynamic duo Marcus Saw, Day 4 Kevin Love, Day 5 Daniel Gibson, Day 6 Rose. So we missed a few days, so we had this 5 here, Tom Chambers as just an extra, and then Trevor Booker obviously isn't in it. And I said in the video from earlier that it's there's going to be one more video of just one singular player who's the biggest gem. Obviously I'm not going to say that is straight away, but I'm going to do some honourable mentions. My honourable mentions are Moments Dragic, who you can pick up for 800 coins right now. I love the Silver Dragic, and this one is just incredible. 85 to reach, the much better version. Craig Elo, one of the best shooters in the game, 91 open shot 3. LeBron James, I've seen him up for 1200 coins. 1200 coins for LeBron James. Great glue guy, you, he's a must buy, he's that cheap. We've got Chani Fry, who I really like, great shooter. And then we have got the 7'7 seven seven Beast Manu Bowl. Who is still cheap enough. Next we've got Bonzo Well. Stats wise he's one of the best emeralds in the game. Based on total stats I think he's like third overall. But he's just an overall solid player. And can compete well. Rebounds well, defends well, shoots decent enough. Next we've got Emerald Andrew Wiggins who again is 900 coins. And he's just, he's Wiggins. He's fast, he can shoot a little bit. He's like a 75 open shot 3, he's good. Next we've got Bradley Beal who I picked up for 750 coins. I don't understand how because I'm fairly sure he discards for more than that. But that's the way the prices are. 89 open shot 3 with a decent release. Not a great off dribble, but for 800 coins, you can't do much wrong. Then we've got CJ McCollum, about 2,000 coins right now. I don't have him. I still use his free agent card because I haven't used up all the contracts on that. But 94, 94 open shot 3. He's just that little bit better in his gold. Next up, we have got Emerald Zach Levine. I don't really like him because he does have a 30 driving dunk tendency, which is not good. And I don't really like his release, but stats wise, he's just a beast. He's just an absolute beast. 97 driving dunk, 81 speed, decent enough, 97 vertical, and even though his release is not great, he's got an 87 open shot three, <coughs> which means he hits it a lot of time he's open. Next, we've got another player around the same price, around 2k. It's Devin Booker, Emerald Devin Booker. He's just really good. Open shot three, 85, a little bit low for Booker. I don't really like him as a shooter, but he's fast, extremely fast at 80, but he feels a lot faster. 50 driving dunk, he, dr he dunks a lot, and he's just good at attacking the basket. Then we've got Jalen Rose, 6 foot 8, small forward, with really good handle, really good ball control, and to be honest, I used him on a point guard, as a point guard a lot early in the game, and he's extremely, extremely good. And then, lastly, we've got Cedric Sabalos. Probably the best of all these, I really, probably regret not putting him in one of my 12 gems, I had footage from him, but I decided just to leave him off the last minute, but he's extremely good. 71 free shot always goes in. Absolutely money from 3, 75 is a lie. 85 driving dunk, which, while it doesn't seem great, his tendency is 100. So he just dunks nearly every time. He is absolutely incredible. So anyway, these are the honorable mentions. So anyway, the number one, the number one gem is a point guard. It's an emerald. And it's Penny Hardaway. If you have Shaq, if you have that Diamond Shaq, it's even better this card. 6 7, 85 offensive overall. Very good at everything. At everything. 80 open shot 3. Feels a lot better. 94 ball control. Extremely good. 71 steal, not bad. 78 on ball defensive IQ. 86 driving dunk. 84 speed. 90 speed with ball. 83 vertical. And while those stats are good, but not exceptional, he is an absolute beast in game. Just look at these highlights. In game, Penny Hardaway can do pretty much everything. Going to the basket, he's probably the best finisher I've used, and that's no word of a lie. I've used people like Jerry Stackhouse who are great finishers. They've got nothing on Penny Hardaway. He can do everything going to the basket. He doesn't seem to dunk often, but he can score from pretty much everywhere. He's not really good in the post, so he's not going to be like Magic and be just a mismatch for every single point guard. But at the same time, he is kind of a mismatch. 
because he is six foot seven. He's not going to go in and post point guards up and shoot hook shots, fadeaways over them like any Magic Johnson card can. But at the same time, he's six foot seven, so he can finish over every one of them. He's just unbelievable. Penny Hardaway is fast. He's strong. He can jump. He can shoot. Unlike players like Magic, you can play him at the 1, 2, or the 3, and he can do equally as well at all three positions. He's a great playmaker, that's why he's probably best to 1. Good defender, feels really good on defense, and is just one of the best all-around players in the game. There is nothing this card can't do, and I would not be surprised if with the dynamic duo boost, obviously I don't have the Shaq, so I don't notice, if he is one of the best point guards in the game. So yeah, in my opinion, this card is the best card under... 10k you can get and right now with the way the market's crashing he's about four and a half k so yeah that's it that is all 12 covered i think for the first time ever i've actually finished a series even though it wasn't done as quickly as i'd like it's actually done so anyway thanks for the support in all these videos and as always thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe